Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where today we are on the drag strip with SOC Supercar Owners Circle here in Croatia, surrounded by the most extraordinary lineup of hypercars. There has never been a display like this. Heading up now, we've got the Elva, the Roof CTR, Bugatti's Laboratory Noir is up that direction. We've got the AMG GT Black Series, Lexus LFA. We've got the Holy Trinity. We've got all the Pagani's, Koenigsegg's, Bugatti's, you can imagine, all about to go head to head here on the drag strip. We're here in Maizen as well. The atmosphere is buzzing. Supercar Owners Circle has been epic so far and today is going to be the icing on the cake with the cars here on the runway, with the crowds, with the sunshine out. Let's check it out, enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the action and see what it's all about. When there's a Rimats around, you know what's coming. They can launch down the drag strip like you would not believe. We've also got the BAC Mono here in the green carbon fiber. We've got the Koenigsegg CCA Tech. Get those tires warm. The original Koenigsegg from 2002, the CCA Tech. They only made six of them. We have quite a few of the Rimats Neveras here, being the ultimate quarter mile drag strip car. Full electric, almost 2,000 odd horsepower. This is pretty fun, this is exciting. We've got loads and loads of Bugattis, the Chirons, of all different derivatives. As everybody lines up here, gets started, this is officially sanctioned quarter mile run as well. And look at the number of people, look at the size of the crowd around us here. So let's have a look, check out some of the cars coming through, then it will be drag race time. Well, that was kind of cool. Uh, he's still sliding. <laughs> Bugatti Chiron up next. They're kind of like, like, take it easy for now, take it easy for now. We can let the wild stuff happen down the line. For the moment, it's much more chill. Much more chill with one and a half thousand horsepower down the runway. Mad, mad. So let's have a look. What else do we have? The Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport B-Test WRC, one of eight, the world record convertible. This is actually the Bugatti factory car being driven here. Lovely, the signature black and orange. This is really nice, this Bugatti Chiron, which belongs to one Mate Rimats, as it happens, Crowbug. The blue carbon, We've got loads of support cars, Aston Martin, the DBXs, we've got Porsche Zagreb as well with some of the cars. And after all of this has happened, and after all the cars have blasted on down, we're gonna be hopping in my Zenvo, which is down that away, to join in some of the action. KN is off as well, right? They're getting everyone to roll on through. <laughs> and the police, <laughs> the undercover police go through as well. Oh, what do we have coming up next? Just spot the distinct lights of Bugattis. Obviously the AMG GT Black series here, actually three GT Blacks on this. Blast on through, another Rimats Nevera. This is the full carbon car, full satin carbon body. Just off like you wouldn't believe. All the support cars, all the media cars. More Neveras. I probably need to head this way and get ready to get lined up in my car. Look at this lineup. It's just extraordinary to see all these cars being driven. Rolling burnout. Sheer on 110 years anniversary edition. Pagani Huayra. I think that's number one. Oh, yeah, we're in a bit of a smoke cloud here with all the cars. We got the Huayra Roadster, the Roadster BC. Okay, this is when I know that I definitely need to get down towards the other end ready for what's next. Off it goes, off it goes. Right, let's come down this way. G63 support wagons. We've got the Aventador SV Roadster with a Novatec exhaust. It is laughably loud. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous how loud this thing is. Listen to that, is he gonna do a launch? He's probably gonna do a launch. Let's follow it just because. the Aventador's in town. <laughs> Followed by the Senna. This is all pretty crazy. <laughs> The Apollo IE Evo, the only one in the world. The evolution of the Apollo IE. Sonda Cinque. Cinque Coupe. Pagani Huayra Roadster. Ferrari SF90. Assetto Fiorano. 
Nice plate. 90 SF. In fact, another SF90 coming. It's probably time for me to run down this way and get geared up for what I'm going to be doing in a second. We've got the painted livery on the Assetto Fiorano of that car going through. The fun is going to continue. Lamborghini Countach, Nevera, Apollo IE, that's Mike's car, then my Zenvo, Koenigsegg Regera, Zonda Cinque there as well, and a Bugatti Chiron. Because we've got the line up here. <laughs> We're going to be taking all these cars through for a photo shoot up at the other end. Can I just say, I know it's my own car, but this in the sunshine just looks ridiculous. The colours are so cool. The purple with the lime accents, almost neon under the light. So, so nice. Anyway, uh, I think the DB11 is going to lead the way and we probably need to gear up to go do the photo shoots before it's drag race time. Right, key in. Let's go join this lineup. I've got myself all crossed over here. So if we were running on E85, this car would have 1,360 horsepower. We're on regular 100 octane, 100 ron fuel from the petrol station. So a little bit shy of that, 1,177. But I will point out at this stage that this car actually needs an oil change before it's fully run in and ready to go, which means it's not entirely able to drag race yet because it's only four days old. Um, there are worse problems to have especially considering I'd like to know what the car does and to know how launch control works. because I've not actually done it yet once, but we will be having some fun with this and seeing cars like that. The Apollo IE right in front of us, making its way up the runway and enjoying the violence of this car's race mode. Um, race on the gearbox. I think that was the Countach just going in front of us. <laughs> so the Nevera just did a massive smoky burnout. We're all getting ready to be deafened by the Apollo IE. Gosh, that sounded insane. So I suppose it's my turn. We're not gonna boot it, boot it, but we're in race, so hold on tight. Those shifts are so violent. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I think there was a donut or just a drift, or I don't know, but it was the Nevera blinding us from the line of cars in front of us, which is kind of funny. Really quite funny. Okay, look at the number of people here though. The crowd just goes on and on and on, all the way down, and I can smell a whole lot of tire smoke. Wow, wow, Croatia has turned up for Supercar Owners Circle. This has been amazing so far. Can't believe this is only day two of this four days of mega hypercar activity. Well, this is cool. The Valkyrie AMR Pro is joining us. It's actually going to be running today, which is going to be mad. Excited about that. That is so loud, it's silly. Makes even the Countach sound quiet in comparison. We're not going to be getting a loud startup from the Nevera, but we will probably have a nice startup from Zonda. And from all three of these, a whole lot of engines here. V12, 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 electric, V8, W16, V8. Not a bad set, hey? Not a bad set of cars. Right, I think everyone is rolling up in that direction. <laughs> Mate is dashing over to his car. Cinque starts. Um, I should probably go get in mine. Not entirely sure. Sounds are ridiculous. Heavenly well at the Zonda Cinque. Right, um, okay, let's get in here and let's go. Whenever there's a Nevera around, expect to lose it in a cloud of smoke. Completely gone, right. Um, I need to go. We are running at the very back, but they're off. They're gonna be off. Finding the key in my pocket for the Zenvo. Let's step into here and let's um, do this. Key in. All right, let's go. <laughs> so cool. And we follow. Wow. And that's still only in IQ mode. By like going to full max power, we're gonna have a different feeling out of this. 
So round to the start, because I think it's time for some drag races. Well, they just started up the Huayra R, and it's deafening everybody. Insanely loud. Straight V12 system in here, unrestricted, full noise. I don't even know if you can hear me over this. This one was at Spa when I went over to drive the factory Huayra R. Look at that. Really cool that that's actually here, part of the whole event. And taking part today, we're now in the VIP area, up at the top of the drag strip with all of the cars. This is where, effectively, the holding pen for all of the hypercars, with the displays, with the screens, with all the information, before we're going to be going down to the start of the drag strip. It's time the cars are away here on the drag strip. Roof CTR, CTR anniversary, the yellow bird. Limited to 50 cars, carbon fiber monocoque, rear engine, super exclusive from roof. This is quite a fun sanctioned quarter mile strip. Pull forwards to the line, get ready. Roadster BC, one of 40 cars, BC being the more hardcore Pagani, named after Benny Caiola, the first ever Pagani customer. Huayra BC was the first. The Roadster BC is not just a Roadster of the same car, it's actually an all new car. It's effectively a BC of the Roadster, as opposed to a Roadster of the BC like you might normally find with these kind of things when a convertible model gets introduced. It's fun how the uh, cars from Rimats have been leaving those black lines on the ground. That drone is flying very low there. Taking chances. That's a cool view down the drag strip there. Very cool view. Next though, is this noisy thing. The Novatech exhaust Aventor SV Roadster. And if he does a launch, it's gonna be loud. I mean, it's loud anyway. It's gonna be really loud. Really, really, really loud. Case in point. You can hear it all the way from here. McLaren Senna up next. This is a rolling motor show of epicness. Center is so quiet compared to the Novatech. But then we're going to have the SLR 722, we're going to have the CCA Test, a pair of AMG GT Black Series. I spotted 918 coming from down that way as well. SLRs with their deep grumbly side exit exhaust. Always sound very cool. Yep, warm up those tyres. Almost a slow motion burn out there. The SLR shoots off down the drag strip. Look at this. What a lineup of cars. This isn't going to be easy. Manual gearbox, rear driven, lots of power. Is it 650 horsepower in the CCA test? At the time, the most powerful production car in the world, actually, when it was introduced. Good effort for doing this. I think I'm most excited by the fact I can see La Voiture Noire down there behind the TDF coming up soon and the mono. So 918 first, Let's squeeze on her through a little bit. Let's check this out. Now the clutch in the VAC mono is far from the easiest thing to do this with, but hey, we're going to get a big launch, big burnout, that kind of thing. We've got the green lights. Oh, 
but I definitely felt a bit of tire hitting my leg there. That was quite funny. <laughs> That's a sound. But you know what? We're going to come to this. To La Boche Noir, The one of one. The Halo Bugatti. One of the most special cars in the world. As you'll know from my previous uploads on this tour. But coming up to the start line in a moment. It's just amazing that this is being driven. And it's going to be on the uh, drag strip here. Wing up. It'd be better with the wing down. For a, for a drag race. Six exhausts. We're all, everybody's ready for this. Gently does it, now it goes. Gently off the line, but then full throttle a little bit further down in the haze from today's sunshine on the runway. Carrera GT, now that's not easy. Manual, and a very difficult manual, very difficult clutch at that. Shout out to that epic number plate, the letter A. <laughs> Legit as well, that's crazy. Oh, the Diablo GT is behind, and another 918, and there's an Elva, and the hypercars are just gonna be constant from this point onwards. Non-stop flow. Here we go, we can get off the line gently and then boot it that would be cool or do that you know that's one way to go about it that v10 sounds magical a very rare lamborghini diablo gt kind of the ultimate of the diablos the model that came between the Countach and the Murcielago. Good save there. Lots of pressure when you're doing a launch in front of a massive crowd in a manual car. SF90 Stradale, four wheel drive, thousand horsepower. Bit of a king of the drag strip. If he does a launch, it will be fast, very fast. Now it's going to be time. Holy moly. That was fast. That's a thousand horsepower with a launch control. We have the McLaren Elva. One of 150 they made in the end. It was originally going to be 399 and it was cut to 249 and then it was cut to 149 at the very end. Uh, this car in the Marlborough livery, like the old McLaren F1 cars over 800 horsepower, twin turbo V8, rear driven, very light though without the windshield, quite the experience. This is where we're having a race, Rimac Nevera and Bugatti Chiron. Rimac Nevera versus Bugatti Chiron in blue carbon. Wow, that happened fast. Obviously the Navira is out in front. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And we go from that to this. Huayra R. Which is spectacularly loud. That was epic. That was absolutely epic. Now we have the yellow Navira. These are effectively prototype test cars that are going at the moment. As they line up. I mean, it's hard to kind of, well, something loud is coming. Something very quiet has just left. And departed the drag strip very quickly. I think we've got the event still coming. So we've got a few cars we've seen go around once coming through now. Killer loud, but next is the Apollo IE Evo. Look at this. This is where I get down and touch here. Mega sounding V12. 
disappears down there. Navira pulls up, wait for the burnout. <laughs> Funny, instant tire shredding. Next, the new Lamborghini Countach. Will we have a launch? In which case it will sound very loud from here. We're one of 112 of the new Countach. Looks great in orange. Pulling up to the start. Gearing up, getting ready. There we go. Koenigsegg Regira time, one of 80. Koenigsegg direct drive. Insane power. That sound is so weird. No gears, no shifting, just full sound. Ah, then we've got the Zonda, we've got Mike. <laughs> this means stand back, because this is going to be really loud. We're standing away. Straight pipe Zonda. Where else do you see an 812 Competizione followed by a Carrera GT and then a Huayra R alongside La Boutier Noir? I mean, this is the only event in the world where that happens. That's unheard of. I, followed by another Bugatti, followed by the whole lineup of cars here. It's totally, totally ridiculous. This it's it's beyond ridiculous. I'm gonna come out to take a listen to the 812 comp. Wanna hear that at full chat when it launches. Squeeze through and come and have a listen to this one. The end time, La Boche Noir. The Bugatti of all Bugattis. I'm going to come up here and come and crouch down. Here. I'm just going to walk down the line again because this is just cool. This is just really, really cool. The fastest cars in the world all hitting the drag strip. Owners actually using them today. Owners actually racing them down this piece of tarmac. I'm probably going to put my finger in my ear as I come past here, just in case. Yeah, that's loud. <laughs> We've got the charge status bars on the side. We can also show you the modes and things. Come back down this way. Is that not the coolest thing? That for you. Rounding out the pack then for today. Let's squeeze on through. We've got the Apollo IE Evo up. <laughs> sound then a few more race cars around because Huayra R is going to come back through and then we're waiting for that that car down there here we go well that flew by it starts on the electric motor to pull away up to I think about 80 kilometers an hour 50 miles an hour then the V12 kicks in and off it goes just like that blast it up and job done for now. I thought it was the end, but I am wrong. More cars are coming through. V12 Speedster as well. V12 Speedster is rolling by. I mean, I'm just gonna keep recording because it keeps being crazy. Seeing all this stuff. Huayra R up next. I wonder what's happening with the Navira here. Noise, noise, noise. Let's come and squeeze on through to this side. And go. Vera gone. Fire R up next. <laughs> this is the Chiron Lebe, one of only three. That dark, slightly blue tint carbon with the gold accents, like the gold EB badge on the back and the gold parts of the wheels as well.
effortless power. Look who's back. Labatunwa. Gonna have a full launch this time. Now that was cool to see. Lava Chunua putting down the power. I am going to hop on board this 918 Spider Visag with Paul for the run. How you doing? Hi, Tim. I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let me step inside. So my first run up the drag strip here is in one of the fastest cars. Have you done a run? No, you didn't do a run. Yeah, I already did. You did too. Okay, sure. good. Yeah. So you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you're safe. Good. 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 Oh gosh, what a crazy lineup. This is just. I can hear jets. Where are they? There they are. Fighter jet. That's cool. So we're behind a Pagani. Right. Oh my gosh. While I can't go Mach 10, I can take my car for a bit of a run. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. What a view. It's on the Cinque and La Ferrari right in front of me. Valkyrie AMR Pro just over there. So I'm going to take this round and um, go give it a little go. I've been watching everyone, but hopefully I'm going to get this right. We'll go into Max and we'll go into Race and we'll pull up. We're not going to do a launch. We'll just um, chill off the star line. So this is where, technically that's green for go, but we'll go off the line slowly, then we'll boot it. My word. So that's not even full revs at any point. And it's really fast. <laughs> it's a scary push in the back. It's a bit like going in an electric hypercar, just propelling you. Wow, that all happened fast. That all happened really fast. Well, that was fun. Back round to the paddock. As you can see and probably hear, it is time to head onwards from the drag races. But just standing here right now, looking at the Koenigseggs, the Apollos, 918, Huayra, Zonda, LaFerrari, Cinque, Apollo AE, Huayra, Chiron. Valkyrie AMR Pro, another Chiron, Laboratoire Noir, all of the Neveras, and just behind the crowd here, we've got the Huayra R as well. All of this, it's ridiculous. I can't get my head around the fact that I'm here driving in my Zenvo TSRS, which on its own is absurd, but as part of all of this, it's totally, totally out of this world. It only happens on Supercar Owners Circle here in Croatia, 2022. What an epic day anyway. We need to hop on for the next leg of this adventure, but thank you very much for watching all of the fun on the drag strip, on the runway here. That's it for this time. Make sure to stay tuned for what's coming up next. See you then. Cheers.